so I've always been eyeing these things. I've always been debating if I want one, but there's only really one way to find out. Joe, call it heads or tails. Heads. Looks like I'm buying it. Today, I'm still in Florida. I am at Rad Junk, and the name of the game is today. Every decision that is made in this video is done by the almighty quarter. And even at the end, I'm forcing you, we're either gonna do discounts or I'm gonna pay more based off the flip of a coin. Don't pick that up. You picked that up and shouldn't have because I, know. I want Are that. Are you talking about the Game Boy? What Game is Boy? this? Show me this. I don't know what this is. I This is new to me. It just came into your store? Yeah, it was. Oh, I just got like the smaller version of this, the I've Ocarina never, of Time one. I've never seen this. You know, I'm here to buy stuff. Would you be willing to sell it? Oh, there's only one way to find out if you'd be willing to sell it. Exactly. Shut your eyes, Mary, and don't look at it no matter what happens. Close my eyes. Do I, I hand you something in your left hand. Do I need to open my mouth? What? <gasps> Stop. Is this for sale? It can be. It, yeah. You guys are holding up like my two favorite things already immediately within the store. What does the coin say? I'm already beginning not to like this <laughs> because I just, <laughs> I want this. All right, all right, all right. So who's calling it? it? If it lands on what, okay. If it lands on what you pick, it's this not for sale. Backpack, oh crap. I'm going to let Tony call it. So if it lands on whatever you call, it's not for sale. So you get to keep it. Fair. Correct. Okay. Okay. Heads or tails? See tails. Ready? I'm going to toss it down to the counter. If it's tails, it is not for sale. It's his! Oh. Woo, baby! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so without, without these guys listening, this thing is super cool. Let's take a peek at it while they're, while they're in the other area. So we got a Nintendo 64 backpack. I think these are actually pretty pricey. I'm guessing, you know, this might just be one of the... Does it say interact on the back? That's my guess. Does it? It does! Interact, okay. Comes with a little bit of Joe's hair on it. That's good. But uh, let's go see what they want for this. Discussed at all? with your, your elders, what your I, thoughts are on this? I have, okay. and the retail price on this is roughly $100. Uh, for solds? For solds. Perfect, okay. So what I want to do is go back to the coin. Oh gosh, oh, I'm already regretting the mighty coin. If it lands on what you call, okay. you get it for 50. If it lands on what I call, I get it for 50, otherwise just straight up retail? Yes. Okay, where, where, uh. oh Lord, guide thy, guide thy hand. Uh. I'm going tails never fails. Please, Lord. Yes, tails! $50. <sighs> okay, I feel good. I'm already, I'm already liking this. All right, I gotta go back to the back room. I know Retro Rick has been back here already. Ooh, I'm Retro Rick, but I'd still like to go back. No, you came back here Ooh, first. I did come back here for- I'm winning, I'm winning. Oh man, I immediately saw these right here, man. I'm a sucker for these. Look at that guy. He you looks know, like a Marlboro, a man. I know Kate you have a Marks. warehouse full of arcade. Mar Kate, Marquise, like. Marquise? Marquise. Is that the name, name for him? Ooh, what is this? This is a uh, Mario it, 2? This is not for sale. Uh, this is a gift from somebody. They found it essentially in a junk store in Japan and brought it back. Oh, wow. Well, that's fun. Okay. What's this right here? Can I show down? Is it like the... It's a Neo Geo Mini thing. Oh, yeah. That one. I forgot that. Oh, and then is this the uh, part of the uh, Mini? With yeah. the 32X ad and all. I've never even seen the actual 32X up close. Wow. It's oh, no! All right, you guys. Yeah. Have a good one. Now, now I'm gonna take this with us. What the heck is this? Did you make this? Is this bootleg? What is this, this thing? This looks like I got a gift card to AutoZone. It, it, it does. Um, so <laughs> this is legitimately a PlayStation 3 that they gave away at the 2011 11. NBA All-Star Game in LA to players and people that were invited to the Players Lounge. In LA? In LA. So do we know what player or we're just going to guess LA? It's got to be Clippers or Lakers? We don't know whose it was. The only thing I know is that they were giving away to players in the lounge that were at the game and it came from an estate. Who was, I, I, I don't know anything about, about basketball, was Kobe playing in 2011? Yes, Riff, Kobe Bryant did play in 2011. Laker Nation, baby. It's Kobe's. It's confirmed. It's Kobe's. We confirmed it. That's awesome. Um, but it's got the same tooling almost as the NBA Elite 11. Wow. PlayStation 3. Wow. Um, and they only made, what, 15 of these? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cute, but look on the side. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 
So Nintendo GameCube. Okay, so clearly it holds the games, then holds the GameCube itself. Oh, you got some little stuff in here, by the way. And then a Game Boy Advance holder on the side? Have you looked these up online or anything like that? I don't think so. Do you want to look up online? <laughs> Absolutely. Should we make sure it's for sale? <laughs> yeah, flip the coin. All right, let's go out here and do it. Let's go out here and do it. All right. So we cannot find one that has this with it. Without this, it's like 20 bucks online, but you never know what these are worth. So Joe, heads, 10 bucks, tails, 100 bucks. Deal. Don't be tails. I told you guys to find me cool things. Is this, this is what you bring me over. What it's, the heck is this? It's an original Xbox 360 <laughs> monitor. So you plug it in one of those old red ring units and you get the best 480i. You know, I, I, I gotta wonder though, that front cover, like, what in their mind thought this is what we should go with to sell this? Like, I, I really don't understand. I was just asking Joe off camera. I'm like, hey, for real though, man, was this thing for sale? And he's like, ask the coin if it's for sale. All right, is heads for sale or tails for sale? Heads for sale. Heads for sale. Oh no, it's jiggling. No, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Joe just said, he's like, all right, what we can do is flip the coin and basically go double or nothing. What that means is we kind of found out, we looked online, this goes for about 40 bucks. By the way, you can open it, Joe. It holds cartridges nice and clean. It looks beautiful. It's actually in really I've good condition. Yeah, it's, it's really, oh, six cartridges. I thought it held four. But he was like, we can flip. And if it lands on what he calls 80 bucks, oh my gosh, overpaying, or if it lands on what I call, what's it go down to? $20. 20 bucks, all right, who, uh, you, you can flip it this time, Come bro. On, Tony. I'm a little too scared, I'm a little too scared. Joe, you call it though. Yes. Stick with heads, oh God, why? All right, here we go, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, we're, you, didn't, you didn't look, got it, owe you $80. <laughs> Son of a gun, dang it. All right, guys, I guess I'm done here. <laughs> Just saw that this is actually a Halo 3 refrigerator. They have the, the Xbox Series X fridge back there, the new one, and then an actual one. I didn't know this was like a thing, bro. I walked right by it and you're like, you want this? Well, not literally, he was making a joke, but oh yeah, Eve, it's got it on the side. Look at that, Mountain Dew game fuel. So 7-Eleven did a giveaway. Okay. And they produced 25 of those. It was like one of 25. That's it? Yeah. Wow. It was 25. It's something like that. It's a low number. Wow. Are they hard to find and valuable or just hard to find? I think both. Pretty valuable. Okay. Halo yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I feel like I have a good question for Joe right now. So Joe, you have a lot of really cool things, you know, that you're willing to sell, right? Yes. So what is it about this that it has a sign on it, not for sale? What What is so extra special about this or is it just not for sale? A friend of the store brought that back from Japan and he brings us something back every trip. And that was one of the Aww, things. Aw, sentimental. And I don't think this was actually even for sale in Japan, but the store owner gifted it to him. Dang, dog. It. All right, bro, 100 bucks. Okay, done. <laughs> All right, I just found Victory Run lying around, but the thing is, Caleb recently sent me a TurboGrafx-16. Yes, he actually sent me a TurboGrafx-16 in a rental case to celebrate, to congratulate us for 10 years of doing YouTube on my other channel as well, by the way, not Pixel Game Squad only. And when he sent it to me, I'm like, dude, I only have very limited TurboGrafx-16 stuff. I don't necessarily think this is gonna be the greatest game. Joe actually kind of was like trying to talk me out of buying it. It's basically like less than Outrun, but I don't have really any games of my own yet. So there's only one way to decide if I'm gonna buy it, Joe. You know what it goes. It's going to the all flipper. I'm gonna buy it at full price. Ready? You flip the coin, Yoshi. Call it. Heads. Wow. Just spot it. <laughs> I flip coins better than I play Tekken. <laughs> Dang, brutal. Joe was just telling me he gets in daily trades and there was a, a box in there and he's like, you haven't even gone through these yet? No, not We at all. can go through them together. Exactly. Like friends. Like they were pretending to be on the internet. Like I used to be with Ricky until he betrayed me. Good old Ricky. Loser. Ooh, this is what came in, huh? What do we got? Ooh, okay, a little bit of Soul Calibur 2. 
Mass Effect. Ooh, beautiful Sega Saturn Space Jam. Hop in here, Joe. It's your store, bro. You don't want to look? Why not? <laughs> you want a job? I'll hire you. <laughs> Can I work remotely <laughs> from California? Sure. Ooh, don't so don't tempt me. Eternal eyes. Look at this. That's hungry eyes Wait, right there, bro. This isn't just trades. What is it? I bought these at the con. Oh, you oh, did? did? They mix stuff in. Uh oh. oh. No, that's good. Let's keep going. Yeah. What, you don't even know what you bought, bro? Xbox controllers? Oh, this is sealed. Monster Force. What? Is this like, is this like South Park Mega Man? Yes. What the heck happened to him? I think, oh, I know. What is that? Yes, what is that? Not for sale. Uh, so, you know what? Guess what I own? And I didn't know it was rare until I got it. So, already, there's the old PC version floppy disk skater die, yeah. which is already like 75 bucks. Dude, I got it home and I looked inside and it was the demo, not for resale, all sealed inside. And it has all the not for sale demo stuff. Dude, Mine's what is this? Cool. <gasps> Dang it, dude. Get the coin. <laughs> can, can am I allowed to pray before my coin flips this time? I don't think you know how cool that is to me. That's like what I I have mine framed on the wall. That's how much I like skater dice stuff. Think mine's sitting there? I know. Alright, uh heads for sale or tails for sale? Heads for sale. <sighs> Lord, if it's tails, please manipulate it. It's for sale. But we should have came up with the price again, dang it! <laughs> so besides this being something that I devastatingly, devastatingly want, what, is this just a different like cover? Is this what they all came like for the Commodore 64? Wow. Computer stuff, and that came in a box of stuff. And it's skateboarding, so I loved it. Yeah, and I actually, I'll be honest with you guys now, the, the camera, even though the almighty quarter has spoken, I've come to find out that Joe is a lot like me and the fact that you were a childhood skateboarder, you yeah. collect skateboarding things. I know I found it the other day that you said that you collect VHS skateboarding stuff. Yeah. So do I. So I actually, I actually feel like, uh, the, even though the almighty quarter has spoken that I won't even alight, because I know what it's like to try to get rid of skateboarding stuff. It's sure. too hard. It's, I, I, We'll talk about this another time. Another time. This might be a birthday present. Maybe next year or something <laughs> like that, yeah. Tony just told me out of nowhere, he's like, I have some stuff I wanted you to, you kind of created a little, a hodgepodge of stuff you said that you think I might like. Yeah, because I know you do like vintage clothing, other yes, types sir. of collectibles like that. All right, I think I'll take this one out first. Yes! It's one of my favorite ones uh -oh. right here. Oh, no, I'm scared. <gasps> Dude, this, oh no, editor Jared is gonna pop in right now and say something, oh. I know it. He's a major Simpsons collector too, so. <laughs> Sounds like Gabo. I think he's not right here. What else, right. what else? I got, it's just a little. Oh yeah, I love this kind of stuff. This is, so this is what I call in front of uh, video game stuff. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I love this. It's like my favorite game of all time, but this is a promo item. It's a Simpsons hit and oh, run. Oh, heck run. yeah, dude. I love the hit and run. I've seen this before. Hey, yeah. you're the man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate <laughs> you. I love it. Look at this. That's, this speaks me. A hodgepodge of stuff. Come on. <laughs> There's no way I talked about the last time I was here. I told you, I just told you I'm starting to collect more for TurboGrafx-16. How much? Not for sale. Joe, the nice man, he has brought these out to get me excited because I but told him I do lunch boxes. No, no, I do. The problem is I edit for Retro Rick and I already watched oh, yeah, him go through all these. <laughs> I'm taking a breather out here. He told me he's gonna pull out a standee that he thinks would make Ricky actually crap his pants were the words he used. So we're gonna see if he's got a standee cool enough in there. I'm letting him kind of pull it out from the dustbins of obscurity to see if it's gonna make even me soil myself. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sir, do you have any sand standees that'll make me soil myself? <gasps> uh oh, no way. You have Star Fox standee stuff? Star Fox. Super Nintendo Star Fox? Wow, no way, dude. So is this part of it? I'm guessing you have more back there. <gasps> Let's go look. Can so I look? We're gonna look at the okay. pieces of it because instead of setting it up. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Yeah, so Holy is, schnitzel. All the characters stand on this. Uh, it's a little beat up no. because the guy who gave it to me years ago beat no. up in his attic. However, this was a gift that somebody gave me. Duh. Why do you tell me that? That means you can't sell it. But you know who would kill for this? Rick. I know. Did you show, show him this? No. Oh, dude, yeah, I think Rick would go <laughs> nuts for this, bro. I've yeah, only yeah. seen a picture of one other one on Nintendo Age from forever ago. Okay. And the deal is, I don't know where this was displayed. So this background 
like locks into this and wow. it plugs in the stars light up. No way, it lights yeah. up? It's oh my gosh, it has the super effects logo down here too. Obviously it probably pops in there somewhere as yeah. well. So it's all slotted. I would love, I, I would honestly almost pay anything for this. But the reality is I almost have a little bit of guilt that I that if I ever did because only I would see it. And like, I, you know what I mean? I think it's best do in a place like here sure. or even a retro rick someone where like sure. people come in foot traffic and go because this is a jaw-dropping item this is a jaw-dropping item the original Star Fox to me man is just such a staple with the different graphic style and I think I know a lot of people lock in you know the N64 Star Fox is the best but I was one of those kids that never thought the graphics looked bad or sure. weird I was like holy crap this is awesome loved all the sound effects of the characters talking and my gosh, dude, this is next level. Holy crap. And then Joe has just shown me you had a, a picture of it put together at one point. Let me zoom into yeah. that. Wow. I mean, that is unbelievably cool. What is like your, uh, like, again, don't have to, but like, what is your estimated thought process if someone was like, I need it. I have to have it. It's my thing, whatever. I'm, I collect, I am Star Fox creator. What's like the price? It's probably around like $2,000. Yeah, and that, that even, that makes sense. But that was like 2016 when I got it, I think. True, and stuff has gone up. Yeah, yeah, and so I don't know. I think that's important to know. Like a lot of people, when they see this kind of stuff, they're like, like when Ricky bought the Sonic statues recently, people are like, you paid 25? Dude, that's crazy, that's way too much. Yeah. But what a lot of people don't understand is people who are in the know about this stuff, yeah. when I told people like Chase after the right price, they're like, you yeah. only paid 2,500? Yeah. Because stuff like this, again, there's rare games. I can go buy, if I want a rare, 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 high-end Nintendo game, I can go find it on eBay. This. Good luck. Find it. Where are you going to buy it? Go to the next level. When you can go light years beyond, you are Fox McCloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo. Joe, my guy, just whipped it out. The PC Engine Duo RX in very clean condition, by the way, in the box. But, wow, that is actually very clean. I got to come back there to take a peek at that because that thing is... That thing's a spicy meatball, as they say, in the world of uh, Japanese and clean. I mean, this is what we were talking about earlier right here. This is the CD-ROM version, and this is... Man, it looks really nice, even on just a random Insignia TV. Yep. I mean, I know it's hard for the audience to see that, but... So, if you don't know, basically TurboGrafx CD Japanese. But what's cool about these, and Joe was telling me, which, to be honest, I didn't know, is the CD itself is region-free, but the card is not. The card itself is not. But you know, I don't know. I used to collect for TurboGrafx-16 and then I kind of didn't for a while. And then when Caleb sent me one, it kind of like re-sparked a little bit of love for it. So I would do this. Joe's saying how much for it, CIB? For you, $300. 300 bucks? Yep. Ooh, it, any, any game to throw in? We'll throw in Darius. You'll throw in Darius? Yeah. I mean, I do want it. I will do it. But we have to ask. If it's a no, it's a no. I, I can't do anything about it. About coin to wants what coin wants. All right, so which is purchase? Okay, here we go. All right, Jared, here we go. I'm gonna put it on your hand. Let's see. Oh, we got, let's get in there. Heads, I think I have $300 cash. If I give you a little more, can you honestly ship it to me? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I was like, I I'll don't. You for oh, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> If I tried to think of a better ending, I couldn't. I mean, after seeing this Star Fox, honestly the biggest grail I've ever seen, by the way, and picking up this, kind of completing the circle of how my heart's been going towards Turbo, I, I, there's no better way to end it. Joe, thank you for having me, sir. Of course. We've known each other for how long now? 10 years. Oh, God. I think. I want my money back. You never spend money. It's all for camera. This is not even real. It's all no, CGI. It's I just need you to say for my son, and that's all I need from you. For my son? For my son!